Hey guys. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can uh, onboard your accounts and passwords into PAN360. If you already have a tool in place, or if you have passwords stored in different documents and spreadsheets, then it would be a good idea to use our import from file option to onboard all of your data in bulk. So uh, I've actually created a simple CSV file. And as you can see at the top, I have uh, the resource name, DNS name, account name, password, and the resource type as the titles. Now, unlike other simple password walls or personal passwords walls, PAM does not store your passwords like a flat list. So in PAM360, we have this concept called resource, which denotes a particular endpoint. Now, it could be a server or a network device or a database, or it could even be a website account but it has to be a container and inside that you could have multiple usernames and passwords and it has to have a proper resource type associated with it this is because pam not only stores passwords but it can also remotely connect and change passwords so only based on the resource type pam recognizes how to communicate with that device and change password so for example you add a windows machine it knows how to open a wmi connection and change password if it is a Cisco device or a Linux device, it knows that it should open an SSH session. So that being said, um, the most important or the, the mandatory fields would be resource name, account name, and password. Other fields are optional, including the DNS name field and type field. But as you, as you know, if you want to use remote password resets, Without a DNS name, PAM doesn't know where to go or how to connect to an endpoint. Without the type, PAM would not know how to change the password. So it is a good idea to have a minimum of these five values, but you can always add more values. Like, for example, if you want to add some notes or a description, or you want to store the location of that particular device or a site name, you can add additional columns and uh, go on adding. A particular values for each and every resource and uh, and if you look at the csv file i'm actually trying to add only two resources so in your pam screen you can see i have different resources each of them are containers and if i open any container it shows me multiple accounts and passwords so similarly i'm trying to register only two devices called abc server and abc server one an ABC server has its own DNS name or an IP address, uh, account name, a password, and the type is marked as Windows. And in the second line, I have ABC server one. It has a, a DNS name, a account name, a password, and the type as Linux. But the third line also contains the same resource name, which is fine because the account names are different. In other words, PAM360 has two unique identifying values. Resource name is unique, so you cannot have two resources with the same name, and the account names are unique. So you cannot have two accounts with the same name inside a single resource. But in this case, even though I have multiple lines with the same resource name, because the account names are different, they are individual entities. That's it, let's close this file, and uh, let's try to import this file so i'm going to go back to pam i'm going to click on add resource import from file and as you can see there is comma separated value and also tab separated value so if you have commas in your password on your notes or in uh, the names it's a good idea to use the tsv format but in my case i'm going to just use the uh, csv format uh, i'm selecting the sample csv file and in the next page, it is asking me to map the columns with the right values. I'm choosing the resource name is in column one, DNS name is in column two, account name is in column three, password is in column four, and the resource type is in column five. But as you can see, you can store description, department, location, Sometimes you might want to store a URL. So you can populate a column called resource URL and store the actual URL for your websites. And if you want to automatically share these accounts to other users, there's also options to automatically do sharing using this import. 
But for now, we're just going to look at a simple import option. So I've selected all the columns and I just click on finish. It will onboard the resources. And it says resource imported successfully. So if I just refresh the page and there you go, you can see the ABC server one and ABC server. And inside that I can see one account. And in the second one, I can see two accounts with their respective passwords. So this is how you import information using a CSV or GSV file into Pan 360.